Okay, so you came to a point where you now know how to use C++ efficiently. You know how to do stuff. You should know. If you don't, you want to rewatch the previous videos. Because we're going to use a few of those now. Those things we learned now. Now, first off, we want to learn getich. Getch. What is getch? Well, getch is part is an easier way in is to how you accept keyboard input it's an advanced topic so it's best if so it's if you don't get it the first time you want to watch the next videos and then come back to this one so the first thing we want to do is include the library that getch is in so we use conio.h <coughs> This library allows us to access keyboard input, so if the player put hits of WSX, then yeah. Alright. So, including that. <coughs> Next, we wanted to use a while loop. Now, for this case, I'm going to make a three examples. Well, not three. Yeah, three. We're going to make three examples. The first example is going to be a way that the player can select their method. So, C out, press W for quick game. Here yeah, I'm just making a few things. S, X, and D. Wait for long game. Press A for modded game. Press D to quit. So this is just an example. Now, what we now we want to get the user input. So the first step is to use uh, getch. Getch. So here's the here's the code. Here's the code. First, we want to check for user input. So I'm going to copy and paste some code and I'll walk, walk you through it while you type it. There we go. Now, first off, let's get rid of all of this code. First off, let's get rid of all of that code. So we can focus primarily on the this one. What is this? Keyboard hit. If that's a if the player presses something on the keyboard, then we get the input. Then we get input from it. Then we switch the getch. What is this? It's whatever the key it's the key that we pressed. So we'll return whatever key we pressed. So that's how it works. To check for it we want to use case W. You notice that we use switch. That means, at least that should mean, that that means is what that means is it's supposed to be that. That means that now if it if it get if you press W, then it will do whatever it sees. So in this case, we want to say quick game. Get that. So this is the keyboard input, so if the keyboard's pressed, it gets the input. This then checks what key it is and switches on that. And then it checks the W and then it checks the cases. So we're just gonna copy and paste this four times. Two, three, four. S A D Long Game Mo Modded Game. Quit. So what we want to do is, so now if we were to run it, you'll notice that even if I press W, it just quits. Why? Because Kibit is what we call asynchronous. First off, what what is synchronous and asynchronous? It. Let's take an example. Using a newly developed technique. If we have code, code, more code, 
more codes. Lots of lots of codes. If we have lines of codes, this is synchronous. What does that mean? If a code is if code is synchronous, then what it'll do is if my if this blinking thing was say a code runner, is compiler or whatever runs the code, it'll go to here, finish and wait until this finishes whatever it's doing. So if you'll see how it will print it, wait till it prints. Go to this, do whatever it's doing. Function maybe, maybe it's a function call, whatever. This, 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 and it goes to this. Waits, this waits, this waits. So wait until the previous one was finished. The same thing happens with function calls. It'll go to here, wait, go to here, wait, finish. Go to here, go into the function, wait until that function finishes, and then go to here. Asynchronous happens. A little less weird. Async. So if we have code, code, async, code, code. If we have an async function here, it will finish this, wait, finish, wait, finish. When it gets to async, it will not wait to finish. It will simply, it will simply not wait, but let run it, and then go here, wait, finish. Wait, finish, and maybe this has finished once this finished. Get it? A little weird. In the case of this, this is async. This is an asyncness function. The other reason this might not work is the if statement. So, what we do, we need to force the compiler to wait until this async function finishes. So we use a while, so the async will keep running until it finishes. Or until a certain thing is read. If we have an asynchronous code here, we can just make a variable. Here's an example. Bool finish equals false. While while finish wait finish equals false. So while it equals false. We'll take this code. And put it in here. So now the code must finish running this. And then we'll just make a default. Just so we can quit out. Finish equals true. So you see. So now. It'll keep going. And if I were to hit any key. It would do that. A. I got. I put an A. So you can actually try this. D. We quit it. We quit. W. Okay, quick game. S. Home game. These. All right. So now you've seen the first example and what sync and async does. It's time to move on to the second example. The second example will be a menu system. This is a little more complicated than making a regular system. So if we were to make two variables, bool so select option equals false. You'll see why we need these. Int option equals zero. You'll this is to make a basic menu system. And this is actually very useful and I'll explain why why. So now we have a while select option equals false, so we want to wait until the player selects an option. Then we have a C out, we want the menu to appear. And up. We also want to do a system CLS. This will clear the console so it doesn't clutter up. So play. This is just a basic example. You can make this a lot more complicated if you wanted to. Quit. Let's see. C, control C. Now we have a basic menu system, and if I were to run it, you can see what happens. Um, oh yeah, if you're prone to epileptic seizures, maybe you shouldn't do this part. Yeah. The um, another thing is if option equals zero. 
So what what are we doing here? What what is this? Well, you didn't explain this. What is this? Well, here we are making the options, and you'll see why. You'll see what we're doing. Else, if. Oh, whoops. Else if. Option equals one. Okay. Then we want to use the if keyboard hit. The keyboard hit. Switch on get get the keyboard hit. The key the keyboard the num the keyboard letter that was hit. So now we want to use case W and well I'll explain all of this code once I finish it. Case S break case X break. Now what are we doing here? The W and S is to navigate the menu system. So if we wanted to say if a case W if option is greater than zero so if it's not zero already or else the player would be able to go into negatives then option subtracts why are we subtracting when we're supposed to go up the menu if you look closely the way i've structured our menu is that it to if you go down option increases if you go up option decreases so that's what we're doing um same thing for if however it must be less than one to add to one in the case of X we want to just say select option equals true in the end see out option so what does this code code do well let's first run it to see you see an arrow we can now move that up and down using W and S. What it did is that whenever I hit, is that it starts in this state as option is set to zero. So it enters, starts clearing, and does all of this. Again, if's constant. I, yep. So, by the way, this is not actually asynchronous, but it might be, it could be. It, yeah, it's probably no. It's eh, I'm learning well as as you do, so it might not be asynchronous, but I'm pretty sure it's asynchronous. But whatever. Here, whenever I hit W, it goes up. If I hit S, it goes down, and I can't go beyond of these if statements. If I were to hit X, it'd give me my value. You'll find this. Well, you find it's mostly used in the these things whatever those are in menus anyways it's i'll have to end this off here you know now know how to use conio.h this is a very complicated topic but the third example i'll be saving for the next video on c++ so subscribe to me if you want to see more coding videos or if you're into gaming videos more i have those too if you liked this video, press the like button, and I'll see you all in the next video.